Broadly for migraine, there are 31 points of injection and each point we inject 5 units. Only 3 of the points are intramuscular and rest of the points are intradermal. So we'll start. First 3 intramuscular points are the belly of the porosiris, the belly of the corrugator, the other side of the corrugator belly. So these three points are intramuscular, 5 units, 5 units, 5 units. In line with this corrugator point, mid forehead, the fourth point. And in line with the other one, mid forehead, the fifth point. Mid pupillary, in the same mid forehead, we have the other fifth and sixth and seventh point. So we have procerus and both bellies of the corrugators intramuscular. And then in line with this, above, and in line with this above the fourth and fifth point, mid pupillary on the same line, sixth and seventh are the points for the forehead. The points basically uh, after this three intramuscular points, these other points are intradermal. Then on the temple, if a line, if you draw a line, imaginary line drawn in front of the tragus, what do you call the tragal line? Two fingers above the tragus is your point number one. One finger width, another point, point number two. Another finger width point between these two in a triangular fashion is point number three. And then the highest point with the helix of the ear, point number four behind. So these four points basically, two finger widths above, point number one, one finger width, point number two, one finger width in a triangular fashion, point number three. And in line with the upper point, helix of the in line with the helix of the ear with the upper point. So four points intradermal each side basically is what we have. So seven points and four four eight. Fifteen points total. Then you see the mastoid tip, you feel the mastoid tip, and you have the highest nuchal point. The onion actually, this highest nuchal point and the onion, the mastoid tip between this. Point number one, midpoint, one finger width, another point, 10 o'clock, one finger width, another point, two o'clock. In a triangular fashion are the points of injection each side. So, mastoid tip, highest nuchal point, the onion, midpoint of this, point number one, one finger width, 10 o'clock, point number two, another finger width, two o'clock, point number three. So, we have three points each side. So, 15 and 336, 21 points actually. These are the intradermal points. Then in a neutral position, two fingers in the groove, below on the nape of the neck, each side, one and two. Point number one, 10 o'clock, point number two, another finger width, two o'clock. So four points. So 21 and four, 25 points of injection. So this is for the nape of the neck. Then coming to the trapezius muscle actually, coming to the trapezius muscle, each side what we have infliction from the acromion joint actually. So from the acromion joint to the infliction on the trapezius that means little behind on the muscle, midpoint, all right, midpoint of this is the point first point, intradermal. From the midpoint to the acromion joint, again a midpoint basically is point number two. And from infliction to the midpoint, midpoint of this another third point. So central point between the infliction and the acromion joint, point number one between the central point and the acromion joint, point number two between the central point and the infliction of the neck, point number three, three points each side. Uh, intradermal on the trapezius muscle. So 25 plus 6, 31 points of injection. So a total of 31 points, 5 points, 5 units each point and only 3 procerus and corrugators intramuscular, rest of the points intradermal. So after these injections, we will have to wait now for uh, more than 4 to 6 weeks. In 4 to 6 weeks, patient will start to feel reduction in the intensity as well as the frequency of uh, headaches or the migraines and this will continue and past eight weeks patient will feel that substantial reduction in the 
the migraine pains and the frequency is happening and they'll be very happy and this will keep out i would say the first session will give the results as long as six to eight months and if repeated once the patient again start to feel that probably my migraines are coming back you can repeat the session and then it's gonna be longer as long as eight to ten months so this is this is fairly a great deal that you can give a break off of on an average of uh, of a year to this patient by doing a very simple technique of botulinum toxin thank you